Hey guys, what's up and welcome once again to my channel. It's Ali here with another video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, then please feel free to take a second to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you've been rocking with me since day one, welcome on back. So, get some atmosphere in the background. Um, today's video is going to be, as you can see by the title, what I've learned as a natural curly girl all that good stuff and just the steps that I've taken to pretty much curate a routine that is ideal for me and for my lifestyle and what works for me now why am I sharing this with you all because I feel like a lot of the times especially in the natural hair community we have so many tips and tricks to share that we kind of tend to put another person's experience on the back burner because there's so much that we want to share that we fail to realize that there's a lot of people that are new to this that are coming into this with no knowledge and while it's great to share the tips and tricks we also don't want to overwhelm our fellow curly girls so I constantly get a lot of DMs as far as what products I'm using what are my favorite leave-in conditioners what are my favorite deep conditioners and I am always willing to share all of that with you all, but at the same time, I don't want to take away from your experience and what it should mean to you. So I'm going to go ahead. I have my notes here on my little uh, Basquiat notepad, pretty much just covering the four main things that I have learned throughout my hair experience. So enough rambling. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing that I have definitely made it very clear and that I learned very early on in my whole natural hair care journey is that I am not a co-wash girl. Now I know to many of you that's probably like, Ali, but <laughs> hear me out. I am not a co-wash girl and I have my notes here simply because for me and my hair chemistry, my hair ends up with buildup and it prefers shampoo. So I love a great clarifying shampoo. Um, definitely something that is going to just get rid of all the buildup from the constant styling throughout the week. And then if necessary, I will go in with an even more clarifying shampoo whenever I've had a ton of buildup or just excessive buildup that um, has pretty much built up due to any new products that I'm using or um, any cocktails that I've done that didn't work out. But overall, and this is something that I've known since I was a child, where my hair just needs a good, a really good cleanse. and. Obviously, over the years of constantly shampooing my hair, my hair has grown used to it. So when I started co-washing and I introduced co-washing, it was something really foreign. It was something that my hair was not digging whatsoever. And the times that I did co-wash, it was okay, but it just didn't feel the clean that I'm used to. So that's definitely something that I have taken into account and that I have dismissed for myself if you're wondering my hair does not dry out because i always use you know a leave-in anytime that i style my hair so that's nothing to worry about but i'm not a co-wash girl number two is that and i'm sorry if i like keep smacking it's my aligners so i'm actually in my retainers right now and once i'm done no more braces so your girl got this Number two is that I only diffuse during wash and goes. So whenever I'm rocking a wash and go or whenever I'm doing a late night wash and go, it's really the only time that I pull out my diffuser. Other than that, I don't really diffuse for much else. I'll let my hair air dry. And this is also just due to the way that I've tended to my hair and also even how my mom and my sister would tend to my hair when I was a lot younger. So we would normally just let my hair air dry before going into any styles. So that's pretty much stuck with me all of my life. So I don't diffuse unless it's a wash and go or unless my hair is sopping wet and I don't want to go to bed with my hair like really really damp then I'll go in with my diffuser and I'll diffuse for about 20 um, to 25 minutes at most but other than that I'm air drying and 
this is something that I want to emphasize like when it comes to tools and styling tools you do not have to run out and get the first styling tool that everybody is telling you to get work with what you have now see what works for you is air drying essential to getting your best wash and go or to getting your best twist out or does your hair turn out a lot better when you sit under a hooded dryer or you diffuse you know try to figure that out before you just run out and start buying all of these tools and the next thing you know they're sitting in your closet collecting dust and you're like ah, I could have saved those forty dollars or those fifty dollars on you know restocking my favorite products so these are just things to take into account number three is <laughs> um my hair does not like coconut oil okay I used to be a heavy advocate for coconut oil in the past and you've seen that little by little I no longer speak of coconut oil on my channel I don't even bother with coconut oil on my scalp because one thing that I came to learn over the years is that coconut oil was stunting my growth so I started seeing a lot more growth and less buildup on my scalp once I stopped using coconut oil. So while my hair, yeah, it was super shiny and all that good stuff, it wasn't at its full potential. So what my hair does like is almond oil, peppermint oil, rosemary oil, tea tree, and Jamaican black castor oil. And this is all just by experimenting and testing out other oils to see how my hair would react to it and so far these are the top oils that my hair loves my hair definitely really likes peppermint and rosemary so as of right now I'm currently using the rosemary mint oil by my L organics in order to tend to my scalp or whenever my scalp feels itchy um, if you're wondering about my hair this is a braid out with all of my my L organics products because my hair absolutely loves that line another thing to keep in mind is that if someone is suggesting just anything from products to tools really just take in what they're telling you and it's great to write everything down but also scale it down if necessary to what you have tried and what you know does not work so that way you're not just jumping back in and thinking oh let me give it a try and then when you see that your hair didn't turn out the way you wanted it to is because you didn't follow your gut instinct and you knew deep down like this wasn't gonna work it works for her but it don't work for me <laughs> you know and then lastly I do the lock method all season long okay hey it works for me winter summer spring fall all of the seasons I do the lock method because it keeps my hair moisturized a lot longer it keeps my hair softer it doesn't weigh my hair down because for me I have um, just a bit more density my hair is still fine but um, especially right after my cut and even um, with the growth that I had gotten my hair got thicker so I just find the lock method to be a lot easier and it's just second nature to me to always use a leave-in and oil and a cream even if I don't go through all of my hair shaft but I will definitely still focus that product on my ends or on the necessary sections of my hair where it definitely needs that extra moisture so the lock method works for me best and I've just stuck to it that pretty much concludes what I've learned and what works for me and once again this is all just a guide so that you know my fellow Carly girls or any new naturals that are coming into the game you are not over here breaking your bank or breaking your wallet in order to get all these unnecessary products that you more than likely deep down already know that you don't need or that you've tried in the past and hasn't worked out um, definitely work with what you have now and then also just make note of what isn't working versus what is that way you can curate a simpler routine and one that is obviously effective to your liking to your wallet and to the health of your hair so I hope this video helped out I hope you guys um, found some insight in this video let me know if you want to see more videos like this and as always I will catch you guys in the next one make sure to share this video with anyone who needs to um, see this or if this is something that's been on your mind then definitely please feel free to like comment subscribe and share and I'll catch you guys in the next one